Hello, it's nice to have you folks back here at Murphy's Welcome to My World. This is episode number 32. We're going to be building a GC Laser Innovations covered bridge kit this time. This is a wonderful kit. Looking at the parts when I opened it up, I was very impressed with how much detail is cut right into the wood. The parts are exceptionally well cut out and well thought out. Instructions? Well, they leave a bit of room for modeling by Dennis, as it were. You can do it a little bit different ways. Now, a lot of these wood kits I color with my weathering powders. They work really well. They never make the wood warp. And it has a nice inconsistent color to it when you're done. You want to be careful cutting these parts out because they are very fragile, very thin. I had to work on it a little bit to make sure I didn't break anything, get them out. And here you have all the parts lined up. It's a pretty simple kit. There's not really too much to it. The only part that might be a little tricky for you is putting all these bottom beams in. I kind of had to mess with them a bit to get them in the right place and have them look right and glue them into place. And of course what you want to do is add the ends to it. The ends fit nicely but you have to make sure everything is square and plumb because if you don't then the base, the bottom of the bridge won't fit in well. If anything was difficult for me it was putting these wire supports in. It took some time. It wasn't really hard. It was uh, tedious, let's say. It wasn't hard. And then, of course, you've got to put the doors on. Got to have the doors. So the kit's coming along nicely. Now we got to put the top on. Now, when you put the supports for the roof on, make sure that they're all completely in their little notches. If one's sticking up higher than it should be, it's going to mess up your roof line. So check them and then double check them. And putting on the roof is really easy. Just two pieces. You just have to make sure that they're lined up correctly. Then one of the last things you got to do is put on the trim. And the trim is not really too hard to put on. Just make sure you have a minimum of glue on it. And then the last little tidbit is putting the railings on the extensions. And there you have it. That was all there was to this kit. It was a very easy build. It comes out really, really nice. The whole thing took me, oh, maybe two hours, something like that. And the finished product is, well, you can see, comes out really nice. It's easy, it's fast, has a lot of detail built into it. If you like bridges, you want to get one of these. Well, thanks for joining me once again here at Murphy's Welcome to My World. Come back and spend some time with me in the future. Bye now.